Do you have a soft floor camper like this Platinum Cadet and would like a hot water system that is able to be connected to the unit in under 45 seconds without tools? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you how we did it on this camper. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. Now, the owner of this Platinum Cadet contacted us because he had a Julka hot water system that he'd like to be able to connect it to the water tank on the actual camper and maybe even get hot water running to the sink. Now, he, he was really insistent that it had to be tourless like the other campers in our other videos. Now, these are great campers, but the owner had a few little issues with it. The first one was the gas install. It was safe, it was to code, it worked, but with a little tweak, it could be a lot safer. Now, there was a quick connect fitting installed underneath the trailer, and then on the kitchen side, at the back of the kitchen, there was a bayonet fitting, okay? Now, if you installed the quick connect fitting hose side of it, click it into the quick connect, gas could pour out of the end of this bayonet fitting until you got it into the kitchen and locked it off. So if you've got kids that are, say, you know, 10 years old or whatever, and like cooking and stuff, you wouldn't really want them to hook up the hot plate, you know, for you because there's a certain order that it needs to go in to do it safely. Yeah, so all we need to do is remove the quick release fitting from the back of the camper and then we just installed our um, yeah, normal bayonet fitting here. Then on the back of the kitchen, we removed the bayonet fitting. The hole's a bit bigger, but we sorted it out with a few um, wall plates. So you can see here, we just installed the quick release fitting here. Now it's super easy. I'll show you how to connect it up, right? All you need to do is grab your um, bayonet side of it, okay? Come over here, remove the uh, dust plug, pop it in, pop it on like that, okay? Now remember, when you pop the dust plug out of here, no gas is gonna come out because um, you know, it's, it's a quick release fitting. So you slide that under here, and then just line it up, pop it on, and now she's connected. So how easy is that? You can connect up your hot plate to the gas on a roadside stop, quick and easily, without tools, do it super safe, and even your 10-year-old could do it. So the other issue that he had is what that this little tap that you wash your hands with, no water ever came out, okay? Now the reason for that is, is they've used this um, clear, you know, very strong, obviously, um, plastic tubing, but once it's got a kink in it, which this one did, um, it remembers that it's kinked and you're sort of stuck with it, okay? Now this little aluminium cover protects here and hides all the water pipe for the filler and the breather, the, you know, the, the hand washing tap and things like that. So what happened, okay, they had this clear tubing that was connected to the pump, okay, so it came out in that bottom corner, had a T off it that went round and connected up to this little um, tap here, and that's what had the kink in it, okay, so that, that kinked it. Then it did a 180 degree turn and went back inside the back bit of the camper here um, that, to connect up to the kitchen sink. Okay, so what we did is we just pulled all that tubing out, got rid of it, and the stuff we, I like to use is just reinforced. Now you see how flexible that is. Now you, you try and do the same thing with, with this stuff and it's, it just folds and that. So what we did this time is we came out of, the, out, of the, you know, out of the pump, came through with a little T hard down in that corner, and then that T swung around and came up to the bottom of this tap here, okay? Then we went, did a 180 degree turn back to the camper and just before it entered the, the back of the camper again to go to the kitchen, we put another tee in and that swung around and came out here. Now this here is just a quick connect for the water. So this is like a cold supply now for the, you know, Julka hot water system to, to plug into. So that's what we've um, sorted out. So there's a bit going on underneath this little cover. Now I nearly slashed my wrist a few times, not because I hated doing the job, but I had to try and get my hands underneath, tightening up hose clamps, making sure the filler was pushed on enough to get it all working. Now, I'm not complaining. Great job, love doing it, and happy to do another one in the future. So the other thing the owner asked us to do was to remove this single cold tap and install a new mixer on there, okay? So the cold side of the mixer is just connected up as normal as it was before, but now it's got a hot side. So what we've done is, if you go in the back here, what we've done is we've connected the hot to this little quick release fitting here. We've got a dust cap for it too. So now from the Julka hot water system, you can plug it into the outlet of the hot water system and go click straight into here. And then he's got um, hot water at his kitchen sink. So the only other thing we did is we installed a um, little bayonet under here with a with the dust plug. And also I fabricated this little stainless steel bracket just up here and that's just to hang the Julka hot water system onto. Okay, so I'll just show you now how to connect the Julka to the kitchen sink using the water tank um, on the camper. So first of all, 
you grab your, um, your joker, hook it on the little bracket there, see how it just hangs on, okay? Now you grab your gas hose for the joker here. Okay, take the dust plug out of the bayonet. Okay, and pop it in. Okay, again, no gas is gonna come out of this, even with the hose out. And you whack that onto the bottom of the gas side of things there. Okay, that's all good. Then you grab your, um, your long hose, okay, with the quick release fitting. That just, through the dust plug, that just clips into the back of the kitchen sink, okay? And that one goes onto the hot side of your Julka hot water system. Then grab the short one, okay? Clip that onto the bottom of the um, hot water system, just like that. And now this is the, the feed line for it. So as soon as you plug it in, if the pump's on, the water should start charging and the hot water system should start um, you know, making some noise and, and spring to life. So you can see, it's trying to light, but obviously the water's been off, okay? Because it's off at the kitchen sink. So if you just come, come over here, you can just look over here. We'll turn the hot, hot water on here. And you can see it'll start flowing through. Okay, yep, so that's getting hot. You can look at the hot water system now and you can see how hot it is. And you can adjust the temperature whichever way you like. Okay, so let's say you finished using the kitchen sink. Now you want to start showering using the water from the tank in, in your camper. So all you need to do now is best just to disconnect the um, hot water system from the charge line. Just pop that off there, okay? Maybe just pop that in there to, to keep it in place. Take off the hot line from the, to the kitchen sink. You can easily flick it out. How easy is that? Take it out, roll up your, roll up your uh, hose. Grab your shower hose, okay? Whack it onto the hot side, you see that? Whack it onto the hot side there, okay, clip. And then all you need to do is plug the water back into the, for the um, hot tap, you can click it on there, and that'll start flowing through now. So once this um, hose, all the air comes out, you'll see water start coming out of the end of here. Here it goes, and again, so that's up and working. And you can see over here, water's quite hot. We're gonna adjust the flame and the water, can you see that right there? To, to suit whatever you shower at, okay? So, good way of doing it, isn't it? Okay, so now if you wanna, you don't really wanna use your tank water for showering, then all you need to do is just unplug it from the camper water, okay? Again, take your hose out, you won't, you won't need that for a while, okay? Then you, most of you got the little flow tap pump, right? So the outlet, you can clip straight onto the um, inlet of the, of the joker there. And then on the other end, the inlet of the pump, you'll get the filter, okay? So all you need to do is fill up your jerry can or your, your red bucket here, chuck it into your bucket, make sure your pump's connected to the power, turn it on, and that'll start charging and then water will, you know, then you can start showering using you know, creek water or water that's not fit for drinking, but plenty for showering and just shower to your heart content until your bottle runs out, but then you just swap it over for the next one. So I hope that all made sense. So we really enjoy working on these campers, removing the pain points, and we hope that it makes it so much more enjoyable when you use these campers for many years to come. So we've got a large workshop. Now, many years ago, I worked as a plumber at a company called Hayson Shipyards over in Holland. Now they build these luxury aluminium super yachts. Now it was there I was taught how to TIG weld because I had to make up brackets sometimes where there weren't, weren't any you know, support for these pipes that I was putting in. So it's very easy for me to fabricate you know, brackets to hold bayonets or water connectors or something for your, for your caravan or camper to protect them from branches, bushes or just to su support them. I don't know why, sometimes I just find it hard to concentrate. <laughs> so if you, like me, live in the best city in Australia and you would like an extra gas bayonet put in your caravan or you think there might be a gas leak or you just need the gas um, certified on your camper or caravan or even thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind having a little hot water system plumbed in or even an extra water tank, give Beautiful Plumbing a call. We'll be happy to help. Hey, thanks for watching.